Hello Gainers and Gorillas, Ralphie here with some Fitter Philosophy sharing my gains with you to help you with your gains and we know, we both know, we all know that fair enough we make gains in the gym but in fact there's a lot more involved in that and we want to make gains in life. We want to make gains in our health and our smartness because often people confuse material stuff for wealth whereas wealth is knowledge and health and space to live positively and objectively in this life and that's one reason why we go to the gym to give ourselves more of a chance and in my last video I introduced the topic of biohacking where I suggested rather than getting all ambitious and getting a bit too left field that the simple proactive biohacks of getting blood tests done of monitoring and measuring our progress in our health is a very good way to start. We, we don't need barcodes in our arm and implant microchips that allow us to go in and out our house without having to use a key. That is not positive biohacking. Positive biohacking is when we have the technology like a um, Star Trek tricorder. I know you're a fan. It's a tricorder where literally the mobile device is held up and can scan the body and itemise through vibrations, through analysis, what's wrong and what's right. Uh, and in this particular video, I'm going to flip it in reverse. And I'm going to talk about reverse biohacking. Not so much what we put into our lives, but hacking, positively hacking our lives by taking stuff out of our lives, which we don't need, which may be affecting our health. In fact, it probably is. Not dramatically, not what they would call acutely, but slowly over time in conjunction with other negative factors which undermine our long-term healthiness in life. So what do we have that we can remove? And bear in mind, we live in consumer societies where we are encouraged to shut up, put up and play dumb. Don't think about it, just accept the doggy treats, the cat rewards of confectionery, biscuits, entertainment and anything, everything that dumbs us down. We're not going to change ourselves overnight. But doing little things all the time, it all adds up and you will be amazed, gainers, at how much progress you will make, not just in physical fitness, but by boosting your immune system, by generating more and more of the feeling of wellness, by reverse hacking your life. Let's start with air. Whether If we live in a city, we're stuck with the air around us. However, we can still make time to leave the city environment or live in a cleaner, fresher part of the city where the quality of air is better. Now, you take any child to the coast, up a hill, out to the countryside, you can actually see the life and vitality glowing in their faces from a good day out, breathing lots of fresh air. Without air, we wouldn't last five minutes. We'd be gone. We'd be dead. It's one of the most essential things. And air is not a neutral environment. Air with ozone, with the oxygen coming off of foliage of trees. You know, a walk in the country is hugely medicinal. Very good. Water. That's next. Um, a lot of water... Well, of course, we're encouraged to buy water in bottles, plastic bottles, polluting, wasteful, fills up the landfill sites. Um, so I recommend you actually use glass bottles or ceramic bottles. Or if you're going to use plastic bottles, use really solid 
camping plastic bottles that hopefully will give off less plastic chemicals into the water because bear in mind water is a solvent and use a water filter because particularly if you're in the United States it's highly likely there's fluoride in your water and fluoride in concentration is a deadly toxin. In fact when you're doing your research on fluoride you'll discover that there is evidence to show that there's enough fluoride in one tube of toothpaste to kill a child. Fluoride is not safe. It is put in water supposedly, allegedly, to improve our teeth health. I'm lucky. I live in Europe on a small island. They don't have fluoride in the water, but they do have chlorine. Chlorine is effective, a bleach for water. But sure, we could drink water from the tap. It'll be thirst quenching, all the rest of it. But far better to filter it. A standard um, carboned filter will do the job. They're not expensive. You can get them on eBay and you can buy them in your local shops. Filter your water before you drink it. Drink fresh, clean water. Don't presume because you're told water's fresh and clean that it is. And also, what's the point in buying bottled water when it's been lying about in warehouses for possibly for months? It's stale water. It's dead water. You want water with life and vitality in it. Homes. Right. Uh, homes. Now, this includes air. We have air in our homes. And what do we do? We buy toilet bleach. We buy fragrant fabric conditioners and detergents and we wash our clothes all the time even when they don't need it and uh, we use lots of these chemicals we use sprays in the kitchen we use scours in the bathroom we use shakes shake powders in the carpet we use plug-in air freshness which release chemicals into the air now let me ask you this are they toxic Hmm, your answer will be no, because if they, wouldn't, if, they, if they were toxic, they wouldn't allow them to be sold. My response is simply, do your homework, people. Really, seriously, remove a lot of chemicals out of your house. Keep it to the absolute basics and use old-fashioned stuff like carbolic soap, stuff that genuinely works. I'm not going to speculate and I'm going to be very careful what I say here now, but it makes a lot of sense to those in power to slowly toxic up people's atmosphere through their own choice and purchasing decisions. Because it makes people weaker and when people are weaker they're easier to control and manipulate. That's why we go to the gym to be stronger. Huh. Ambitions. We are in a world where we check Instagram, we put on television, we hear the news, which is just bullshit. Even when they tell the truth, they'll distort it as much as they possibly can because the last thing that people in power want is people to know what's actually going on. And they're lucky because the majority of people are quite ignorant and lazy. So they generally get their own way, but for the few of us that actually care about taking back control over, over our own lives, what we need to do is detoxify the intrusions and interruptions to us having mind control over our own bodies in our own environment. Turn off your television. I guarantee you, after six months, you'll no longer need it because you'll have cleaned up, you'll have detoxified, you will have, it's like stopping cigarettes, you'll basically, you'll have removed the addiction. Give yourself more time. Time is precious. They in interviewed people in nursing homes at the end of their lives about regret. What did they regret? Not making more time for themselves and the people they loved and who loved them in return. Too many of us do not spend enough times on our own by ourselves doing what makes us happy. Too many of us do not spend time with our friends or the families that care about us. 
too many people do not make more space in their lives, less overtime, less shops, less overpriced, theatrical, rigged sporting events. They're rigged. They're just theatre, guys. Theatre. It doesn't look like that because you're in the middle of, it. middle of it. You don't see the true picture. And practice downsize consumption. This is going to be a cracker. Get paper, get pen, draw a list. What can you, what do you have in your life that you no longer need to buy? Need to buy. Great. Soda drinks, fizzy soda drinks, don't need to buy. This goes back to the boycott video that I did recently. Power, personal empowerment. I will not buy that, I will not buy that, I will never buy from that company and I refuse to give any of my business to that organisation. That charity is a fraud because some charities are, in my opinion, a fraud and a front for other purposes. Once we start to get that a little bit smarter, you'll be amazed at how things fall into place. Practice thinking. That's how we get smarter. When we're physically fit, when we're eating clean, we, the, a fitter body will lead to a fitter mind. A fitter mind from better quality food. Food that boosts our immune systems and gives us real nutrition from organic food, fresh vegetables and stuff that isn't processed. You already know because you figured it out for yourself. You didn't need me to tell you. A lot of food manufactured, processed food is toxic. It is the seed, the nursery that we consume for cancers and other illnesses. And that's fine. We're adults, we can make a decision, but let me put it to you this way. What about the children, young children? They're not old enough. They don't have the experience. They're not big enough to make the choices. They're relying on adults. How many adults are accidentally, inadvertently poisoning their children? We have to take responsibility because if we don't, we won't. And that means we're irresponsible. I'm going to conclude with one final thing for you to think about and it's to, to do with happiness. Happiness, they say, is a state of mind. It is suggested that we should just be happy. It's one reason why people take antidepressants and try and cope with overly stressful lives in which they spend and spend and spend to be happy and end up as miserable as sin because they never figured out what really matters in the first place. Let me help you. Never try to be happy. Don't make an effort to be happy because you're going things the wrong way around. Just do more of what will allow you to be happy. First of all, establish what makes you happy. Is it a wee glass of whiskey? Is it a walk in the country? Is it having a good laugh with friends? Or is it a fresh cooked meal and some wine? Does that make you happy? Do a bit more of it. The more you do of things that make you happy, then the more it will happen. And importantly, the more you start to Reverse hack the things that are making your life unhappy. The air, the water, the chemicals, the consumption, processed foods, the media muck through traditional newspapers and television and yeah, online content as well. The more we head in the direction we want to go. Just saying. I'm Ralphie, here to help. Speak to you soon.